Hello friends and welcome to the Crypto Stacker channel. My name is Dean. If you're watching my videos for the first time, please know I only make them for entertainment and education, as well as community building in the crypto space. Please do your own research before you invest in anything that I talk about. Only you can know what's appropriate for your risk tolerance and portfolio. And if you need extra help, consult a financial advisor. All right. Uh, I'm going to talk about Saitama today, and Saitama's got some interesting things going on here in the next 24 hours. Currently, the price is up about 6.1%. If we were to look at the broader crypto market, you'll see that it's kind of just bouncing back. I think it got beat up pretty bad there for about seven days, and now in the 24-hour column here, we are seeing a lot more green on the screen. And, you know, like I said in a video yesterday, I think sometimes when the big dogs uh, roll down, the small coins tend to go at a faster pace than that. So you'll kind of see more volatility in the small projects. Well, today some of the big projects are up, you know, 1%, 3%, you got Saitama up six. Same kind of rules apply. Those smaller tokens are more volatile. They're more responsive to cash infusions. So let's take a look and see what's going on with fundamentals. Today is, April 13th. Uh, it's been two days since I updated the spreadsheet. There are currently 360,664 wallets by Etherscan data, an increase of 418 over two days ago. The market cap is up 20 million from two days ago at 338 million. The ranking moved up one. Saitama would be ranked 205th of all cryptocurrencies per Saitama's market cap and comparing that against CoinGecko's ranking system. The price is currently sitting at 8078. Now you can see it's just dipped below this seven zeros mark now for two days. And it'll be interesting to see how long it takes it to climb back up into that seven zeros one level and burn another zero. With some of the things that are happening, uh, it could jump back up there pretty quick. So we will be talking about those things here shortly. Volume in the last 24 hours, 4.2 million. The burns ticked up a couple percentage points, 56.73, and 11.7 .7 trillion tokens have burned in the last two days. That's uh, about, you know, close to that 6 trillion per day mark. Now, because I've been pretty irregular on tracking the data, you know, sometimes I'm looking at five days data, frequently a couple of days, it looks like five days is the most. Um, I wanted to get a feel for what the annualized rate was over the last you know, 26 days. That's what these, uh, since I kind of started taking some time off and had multiple day skips. This data right here encompasses 26 days. So I just totaled it all up, divided by 26, and it shows us that our average annualized rate over that time frame is about 1.9%. So we're still not really in that classification I would call a hyper burn. Uh, this particular day right here, uh, the average would have been more like 3% on that particular day, 3% and change. So hyper burn on an annualized basis, I want to be looking at numbers of 6 to 7 8%. Um, and I have done projections before where if we could push the volume of this up to where some of the other community coins are, the burn can be in excess of 20% annually. So uh, we just need to see the volume get pumping here. So let's take a look at a couple of the things that have been happening in the last couple of days that I think bode really well for Saitama. Uh, so we'll start in the Twitter feed here. This is Russell's Twitter feed. And um, we'll just kind of scroll and I'll show you from the top down. Okay, so the first one that comes up in the feed is WAGME. This WAGME is an acronym for uh, we're all going to make it. It is a token and a play to earn game. There's been a lot of buzz about this one lately. I kind of got swept up in it myself. As a matter of fact, I bought a couple of the NFTs and I'll just show you, you know, we'll pull the screen a little larger here for you. They are pretty interesting and the NFTs actually have a use case where when people purchase in-game purchases, a portion of the proceeds of those in-game purchases, 10%, get shared back to the people who have the NFTs. I think they had 30, well, it's 3,022 total NFTs, and they sold out in a couple of days. 
Now people are selling them on OpenSea and the baseline price for them is about 100% more or 0.25 ETH. They were 0.125 ETH uh, at launch. So, you know, people are, are looking to double up there. But if uh, it does well, you know, the game does well, and I'm seeing some good dividends on this, I'll let you know. Um, I have never created content on these guys, but I am interested in the project. And that project is going live on Cytomask tomorrow, April the 14th, 9 o'clock in the morning. So uh, I already own some tokens that I just purchased out in Uniswap. So we will see what happens there. And the Wagme project, they've already added Cytomask to their website, showing that they're going to be listed there. So interesting stuff there. If we pop back over into the feed and keep on scrolling, um, you'll see there's just been a lot of activity here. Okay, there's a d discussion about this token, the commission. You guys are probably more familiar with this one than I am, but this is the white paper for the commission. I will say this, something about the graphics of this give me a TARP vibe. If you look at the TARP uh, white paper, Something about the artwork there just gives me that vibe. I, I don't know what the correlation, if there is any correlation. The team on this one appears to be anonymous, and that's not something that I'm super keen on myself. But in the tokenomics of this commission token, they've got a 2% on the buy and a 2% on the sell um, going to the Saitama team to create a marketing wallet. So... I guess that could be a really good thing for Saitama as they uh, bring some money. And you can see here, this is on the buy, 2% goes to marketing. On the sell side, a, another 2% uh, here going to Saitama's marketing wallet. So the more money Saitama can spend on marketing, hopefully the more it will drive brand awareness and get people using Saitamask. I did look at the commission since its launch. It's honestly been pretty lackluster in my opinion. It didn't have a huge pump like a lot of projects do. As a matter of fact, it came out and probably made a lot of people really nervous. Took a nosedive, then it almost tripled up, and now it's below where it launched, but not by too much. Down about 20% it looks like off of its high. Okay, the other things going on with Saitama right now. Uh, Saitama is getting listed on Hotcoin another centralized exchange platform. Here you can see Manny talking about it, saying that Hotcoin will be opening deposits for Saitama on the 12th. So that should have actually already gone live yesterday. So lots of activity coming out of the Saitama team. And quite frankly, this is something that I like to see, okay? Uh, a lot of people got really worried with a lot of the, and myself included, full transparency, I mean, I was being fully transparent about it in the first place about three and a half weeks ago. That's what got me in trouble with a lot of you guys. But they had a ton of problems trying to get Sida Realty out. Uh, there's been a lot of glitchy type things with Sida Mask, but it does seem to be getting better and better. And they're adding new projects to Sida Mask, which will drive volume on the platform. But realistically, I don't know if it necessarily drives volume with Saitama. It depends on how they have those pairings set up. If every single coin on there is paired with Saitama, it should help Saitama's volume uh, continue to expand. So I would just say, dev team, keep it up. Uh, Wagme, pretty cool. I hope that that helps Wagme get a little more exposure for people that are already holding coins on Saitamask. It's a pretty cool project. Um, and that play to earn game is supposed to be released at any time. I actually need to try to reach out to some of the other content creators that have been talking about this project and find out what happened because it seems to me like it was supposed to launch sometime in the last week. Uh, but maybe I missed an update. So friends, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, let's take a look at reflections. I did start tracking my reflections. So it looks like in the last two days I have received about 32,590,000 tokens. This brings my total since I started tracking again on April the 6th to 240,516,000. Current prices would be worth just under $2. So we'll keep adding to this and watch day over day how the stacks grow. Friends, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for spending some time with me. Check back with me soon. We'll watch our crypto stacks grow together.